Welcome back to Fry Minis. I'm Eric and I'm super excited to join Kelly and Monty from the Dungeon Dudes and Colby from D4 D&D Deep Dive to celebrate Chris from Treant Monk on hitting 50,000 YouTube subscribers for a level 20 one shot. I'll be playing Blorp, the level 20 Banderhob Oath of the Ancients Paladin. I'd like to give you all a peek into building Blorp in a second, but first, I hope you're able to tune into the game. Join us live May 17th at 5 p.m. Central on the Dungeon Dudes Twitch account at twitch.tv slash dungeon underscore dudes. If you like what you see, I'd encourage you to subscribe to all of us, but let's be real, we all know who's the mini in this group. All right, let's talk Blorp. These particular YouTubers are known for optimization and we were able to choose some magic items ahead of time. Some of the decisions in this character only really make sense when you're jumping straight into level 20 with access to these particular items. Also, there are no homebrew rules allowed. All we really need for Blorp are the player's handbook and Tasha's. Blorp is a defensive paladin aimed at supporting his friends while having fun and eating his way through life. We're going to start off with custom lineage to get us as close to a Banderhob as we can. Although if you want to play as a Banderhob, check out our free Banderborn race at fryminis.com. Okay, so we're going medium sized, we're boosting our strength with our ability score increase, and for our feet, we're picking skill expert. It's going to give us expertise in athletics, which we'll get from our class, perception, proficiency, and a charisma boost. Dark vision is always a win here, so we're going with that. Primordial feels like a good language for talking to weird swamp stuff with this bander hub. For our ability scores, we're going with point by. We're going 15, 14, 8, 10, 8, and 15. Don't worry about that constitution score. We've got plans for it. All of our optional features are enabled, so additional paladin spells, harness divine power, and martial versatility are all active, although they don't super matter. Blorp is, of course, a Bander Noble and has the courtier background to give us a bit of regal flair. Uh, insight and Intimidation work to grow our personal skills while Elvish and Giant give us some good swampy languages. You know, we always have to be on the lookout for those swamp elves. Let's take a look at our paladin parts. We're taking Athletics and Persuasion. We'll be doing a lot of knocking things over with our shield and Persuasion is always handy to have on a Charisma-based character. I'm a afraid of what terrible things Chris is going to throw at us, so blind fighting feels like it might be a good fighting style option. Uh, we can call it my swamp sense or something. Oath of the Ancients will play well with the group dynamic and works thematically for a nature-based character. ASIs will max out Blorp strength and charisma, leaving room for just two feats. I don't think Slasher is a super powerful feat, but I like the idea of slowing down enemies and potentially giving them disadvantage. The strength boost here caps us out too. Uh, Shield Master is going to be my primary bonus action. Chris rules that the knockdown can only take place after both attacks are completed, but a prone enemy will still help the party. The pseudo evasion effects are nice too, especially with the, uh, <laughs> the bonkers paladin saves we get. Uh, spell selection was tough for me on this one. At first level, we have Bless, Ceremony, Command, Cure Wounds, Detect Evil and Good, and Detect Magic. And we also get ensnaring strike and speak with animals from our oath spells. Yes, we are all going to get married at the start of the game. Uh, second level, I've got aid and lesser restoration with misty step yes, and moonbeam from the oath. Uh, third level, dispel magic and revivify plus plant growth and protection from energy from the oath spells. Uh, fourth level, I grab Banishment and Death Ward and Find Greater Steed with Ice Storm and Stone Skin from the Oath. Uh, finally, fifth level, Holy Weapon and Destructive Wave plus Commune with Nature and Tree Stride as my last Oath spells. Generally, I plan to concentrate on Bless, Holy Weapon, or Banishment as the situation dictates. For magical items, I was able to snag a Holy Avenger Longsword, an Amulet of Health, a plus two shield, adamantine plate, a cloak of protection, and a Javelin of Lightning. All of this combines to create some really wild effects, so an ally standing within 30 feet of me gains all of this. Advantage on saving throws against spells and magical effects. Resistance to damage from spells. Plus five on all saves 
and immunity to fear. 23 AC is good, but an ancient red dragon has plus 17 to hit, so who knows. My spell save DC of 19 is good enough to maybe eat a few legendary resistances so the casters in the party can really go wild with their 9th level spells. I'm featuring the amazing Banderhob art we commissioned for Banderhobtober last year from the incredible artist Savasir. If you want to check out Blorp's character sheet, I'll leave a link in a pinned comment below. So that's Blorp. I'm really excited for this game and I want to thank Chris for inviting me. I'll have a link below with the details, but I hope you're able to watch the live game. Uh, check us out at fryminis.com for some fun content and of course, please consider subscribing here on YouTube. Let me know in the comments how you would play Blorp. I'm really excited to show you the roleplay side of him in the actual game. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.